Well, hello everybody and welcome to the first showing of Auction Adventures. Yeah, it's going to be fun and Dennis is like... I'm actually just here to introduce our host today and kind of get the first show off and rolling. And yeah. uh, let's introduce you once again. Many of you out there know Chris Dudley. Hi, how are you? Dudley's Auctions. And, you know, we've done this a time or two. I mean, we used to do the... Um, the Marketplace, marketplace Show. Marketplace Show. We'd one have time. all these experts come in and they would tell us all their special treats and their treasures and talk about all the fun stuff. We're going to do the same kind of thing with this show. I'm so excited. Well, you got some interesting stuff that we're going to start kicking this thing off with. But I think uh, for the first time out of the shoot here, we're going to kind of explain uh, how you build an auction, yeah, right? Yeah, what I did is I had went ahead and took some video at the auction hall right. where it actually starts from the time we unload the trucks, throw all the stuff in the center of the aisle in the middle of the hall, sort it out, set it up, and, and then place it in vignettes. And that's kind of like what you're looking at right now, where the, the things come out, we, we take the particular pieces of furniture that have some higher end value, we sort them all out, we set them up along the walls, and then you look through the center there and you'll see piles and piles and piles. And it's just amazing because, I mean, there are times where I walk around, walk around, walk around, and I think, I am never going to be able to build this one, I am never going to be, and they always turn out really well. You know, and it's like here, you see the guys, they're all you know, unpacking everything, looking at it. You've got an assortment of everything from A to Z out here on There's the table. Robert, so, yeah. yeah. And, and, it, and it is, it's like an adventure. I mean, every time we open up a box, there's something special. And I mean, there's a lot of times where we look at things and we're not quite sure what we're going to find. But there are times when we, when we pull things out and we look at them like that set right there, there were eight of those stained glass panels. And that was a beautiful set when you come, wow. when those came Ooh, out. Wow, a set of dumbbells, that looked pretty mm -hmm. neat. Yeah, you just found Rugs, them. you've got glass cases, uh, And then when you, see, when you see it later on, you'll see that all the ca glass cases are filled with sets and groupings. I mean, we've got, you know, the first Sunday of every month we do an antique auction. And so Monday morning, the trucks get unloaded and it's just a big pile and then we sort it and separate and set it up and then it turns into something that really looks good. And then as we go along, I mean, people bring in their collections, I mean, they'll have things that may seem like it have a little value and some things they'll look at and say have no value but then you'll be surprised. The things that you think have no value are the things that everybody wants to buy. It's, it's, crazy. it's amazing. Having talked with and worked with uh, collectors of different things uh -huh. over the years, it's amazing the value on some of this stuff. The crazy stuff. I know we've got George that's going to be with us here in a, in a show pretty quick. George Olmstead from Olmstead Coins and Collectibles. Right. And we did a coin auction here recently. And he not only, he brought some things in, but he helped us sort and identify. And, and that's one of the things that we do over at Dudley's Auctions is that we have people who have expertise in particular areas so that we we, we, you know, there's no one that knows everything about everything, and there are times that we're going to miss things. But by having these people that are really familiar with their particular area or topic of interest, it helps us to identify and put them up. And like that, the antique auction, we always put 100 items. We put them live and online, so people from all over the world can bid on them as well. Here's so some more of those goodies that we're showing off yeah, there. there. Now we should, before we go too far along the line, tell people where. Dudley's Auctions is, if they're not familiar with your location, uh -huh. now let's uh, describe to them just south of Inverness, well, easy we have, to find. Yep, yeah, half a mile south of the fairgrounds. If you come to Inverness and just go down uh, 41 like you're heading towards Flow City on the right hand side, um, there's Dudley's Auctions. You'll see our sign. We have a big copper gavel on the building. <laughs> you know, uh, Robert built that with Kevin Jenkins, who's the artist over in Homestas, and they actually ah, found the world's largest gavel so that we could be the biggest gavel. So you have a world record for we'll the... We have a world record. We have that world record. We got another world record. We just recently sold a Jimi Hendrix signature and got $1,900 for it. It was on a half a sheet of notebook paper and $1,900. See, it's amazing. And yeah. we have people all throughout the Central Florida area that have things that they've collected over the years mm -hmm. and some of it they know is valuable, but maybe they don't know what the real value today is. Right. And <clears throat> there's and, easy ways to find that out. Yeah, well, not only that, they, they, you know, the real value today and the real value tomorrow, the real value last month, last year, two mm -hmm. years ago is a whole lot different than what it is now. I mean, we're very, you know, the antique business is very trendy. Um, depending on, like right now, Victorian furniture is what, that 10 years ago I could get top dollars for Victorian furniture. Now Victorian furniture is not really hot, but mid-century modern. 50s, 60s stuff, 
It's crazy. They'll just, <laughs> they just love it. They just love it. It's just amazing. And there's, uh, there's a lot of folks out there in all parts of the country who, who do different things from appraisals to buying and selling of different collectible merchandise mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. items. And uh, one of the missions of the program here is to uh, kind of educate people we, about who they want to talk with, what they're looking for when right. they talk to somebody, uh, whether buying, selling, collecting, whatever. Uh, that's one of the missions of, of the show. And then give you some helpful hints. It'll be fun. It's an adventure. We call it Dudley's Adventures. Every time anybody comes in, how's your day? Oh, every day's an adventure at Dudley's, you know? So <laughs> that's one of the things we're going to do is try to make it fun. Bring some special things in that maybe we, you know, we had sold or getting ready to sell something that somebody had not realized had value. And surprise, there it is. Um, and then you know, bring in the people like George. And I have others that have you know collected. Remember, uh, we had that gentleman that did all the show and hot dolls for yes. years and years. And so it'll be fun. We'll bring people in and we'll talk about all the really cool stuff we've got going on all the time. So. In fact, you've got some interesting items that uh, we'll get to uh, throughout the course of the show. Uh -huh. But again, today, what we're doing on this particular introduction show is to kind of tell you how an auction goes from the start to the finish. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be showing you different videos uh, along the way. The, the so first ones you saw, it was raw material yeah. that people had brought in. Yeah, and then, you know, it's, it goes in all kinds of different directions. Like sometimes people will, you know, it may be an estate situation. It may be a downsizing situation. It may be that somebody found something special at a flea market at a yard sale. I mean, people, people come to us for all sorts of different reasons. And we, get, we like to say that we're a full service auction house because we can do everything from the pots and pans and the half bottle laundry detergent to the automobiles, the cars, the guns, and the real estate. We've been selling a lot of real estate through auctions. Um, we can come in and take care of the whole project all in one full sweep. And, and the whole idea is to look at everybody's situation, define what their ultimate goal is, and then work out which of our programs would best fit their needs. Their needs. Yeah. 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 And, so it's uh, fun. The, you know, it doesn't cost them anything to come in and talk to you about uh, the process and smile. what all's involved. Only, Only a smile, that's that, all you, you require. you got to come in with a smile. <laughs> it makes do, sense we have to a me. lot of fun. And then people come, to, you know, it's like everybody comes to the auctions. Every Thursday is the general estate auction. They have their names on their, on their seats, you know. They don't mess with their seats now. <laughs> but we're going to talk about a lot more of those kind of fun things. And It's and, all coming up. Yeah. So uh, stay with us as we continue with Auction Adventures right here on Key TV, and it's brought to you by, of course, Dudley's Auction. Auctions. We'll be right back. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to Auction Adventures, brought to you by Dudley's Auctions. Uh, Chris Dudley with us. I'm Hi, Dennis Miller. back again. Chris is actually a host of the show, but I'm here for the first show to uh, kind of kick things off and help you to yeah. explain exactly uh, how an auction's done. First off, we, yeah. uh, we saw some footage in the first segment of the program that showed you some of the things that were brought in by people. Right. Okay. And then, and, and then we come in and we, like we do, we'll sort and we'll set up and we'll make it all look like something. Then once we get the auction set, we've pulled all the items in, we've separated out and I've created my sections. And then when you come in to the auction, you'll see, you know, you have your, um, your Victorian section, you'll have your um, section where all the items are that are country, you'll have items that are sports related or military related. Then we'll come back through. Here's some more video that's just showing what we're doing. That was a great toolbox. It had oh, yeah. filled with antique tools. Um, but see, like this one here, it had all this wonderful Hitchcock furniture and we set the whole area up with the Hitchcock furniture and everything that looked like. It's like oh, this You're dog. not auctioning a dog. No, no, okay, no. That's he, not he comes to visit. That's <laughs> chance. But then we'll, we'll take all of this, we'll go back through, we'll photograph every single item, we'll describe it, we catalog it, and then we'll print out a label. And then the label is put on every single item, and then we print out a catalog. Now we're trying to do this in a period of like three or four days. And then when the items are all photographed and labeled, they'll go and they'll put it on the website, they'll attach it to our auction program so that people can pull up the website and then on there will be a catalog with a photo of each individual item. Now that's only for our antique and collectible auctions that we do that. Um, those are some wonderful Mexican Indian uh, baskets that came in. Um, and this was another one of our country sections. Wow, Killer Crocs. I think that, see that beehive croc back there? That brought $350. Mm. It was a great croc. And that refrigerator, 1940s refrigerator, that was still working. The milkshake machine yes. on top there? <laughs> I know. And then that's tramp art right there. You see the tramp art? They put that together. 
Um, yeah, there's a milkshake and a juicer back there. So, I mean, you just never, and this was one of my favorite oil paintings. These oh, cute little you. piggies. It was the yeah. sweetest thing you ever saw. But, you know, art, is, art comes in. These original early lithographs, the crocs, the books, the furniture. I mean, it's just a really nice a ringer washer. Thank God we don't have to do laundry like that anymore. Really? Um, <laughs> but a really nice selection of all sorts of things. And you see the center of the tables. We're still setting up while we're doing all of this. Mm -hmm. And then we break it all down, set up all the chairs. And so on auction day, people will come in. They'll sit in their chairs because they've assigned their chairs. They've picked up their catalog. And then we have two giant TV screens. And from not only will the runners hold the items up as each item is sold in the auction order, but you'll be able to see the items up on the auction screen so you can see them. So it's a tremendous amount of work to get it ready to the point where you're, from the time it comes in the door, gets unloaded out of the truck, gets sorted, set up, photographed, identified, cataloged, the stickers go back on there, then we create the catalog, put it up online so people can go. And the new thing we were doing now is videotaping. I go through and do a quick video and put it on there so people not only can they look at the pictures on the website, which is DudleysAuctions.com, DudleysAuctions.com. <laughs> and we'll put that up for you. Yeah. They, they can also go and look at the catalog, and then they can watch the video. But usually, I always tell people, wait till the day before the video, because it takes, we're putting these sales together so fast that it takes me the day of the sale that evening for me to be able to go walk, you know, not the day, the day before the sale, and I walk around, take the video, and we put that up. And so you can click it and do like a virtual walkthrough. Okay, Dudley's Auctions. So, Dot com. That's Dudley's with an S. Right. Dudley'sAuction.com. Go there if you're looking to uh, get uh, one of two things. Uh, find out what is in upcoming auctions, and then number two, when the auctions are. Right. You have those posted right. on the site. Now, we do every Thursday is General Estate. Every, the first Sunday of every month, we do antiques and collectibles. That's the only ones that we have that are cataloged, except for the target auctions. Now, what we call when we say specialty target auctions is when somebody comes in and they have a huge collection. And one of the big collections that we just sold, we actually broke it up into four different sales because there were so many pieces. And we'll have Mr. Lon fish back here. He was, his best friend was what we call an auction, um, uh, a signature stalker. He went hounding after um, celebrities. He ended up, and he had thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces. As a matter of fact, um, we have a, two signed autographed um, guitars that we're going to be selling for him. And that's where the Jimi Hendrix set signature came from. But we'll bring some of the things that we sold, some pictures, and show some of that. Because, you know, Lon was really excited about what he had. And he had put together this, he had this collection, and he walked in, and he had like five or six pieces. And he said, I don't know how to sell these. And I said, well, how many pieces do you have? And he said, will you follow me to my house? And I said, okay. That's what it takes to get a girl to follow you to your house, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so off we went. We went and looked at what he had. And I said, oh, my. And it was one room, and it was full. And I said, well, we're going to have to do a target auction for you. What that target auction is is then we find the right buyers for them. So we, you know, find the card collectors and the signature collectors and the clubs and organizations and the, and the shops, and we let them all know, and we drive everybody to the website. And from there, they can either bid online, they can come to the sales, they can do any, they can do phone bids, they can do left bids, and all kinds of stuff. So, but it turned out that that little pile that was in his house yes. was just a little pile, and he ended up getting our 12 by 12 storage unit, floor to ceiling, wall to wall. <laughs> Okay. Now, you mentioned storage units, and part of what you're going to be doing uh -huh. during Adventures in Auctions uh -huh. is going to be uh, similar to a show that's on TV this popular, yeah. Storage Wars, it's right? It's so funny. We got a phone call. The fellow had 12 storage units. Would we mind coming and doing the auction? And I said, okay, no problem. My husband set it up, and we were going to go. And we, you know, we share with our customers all sorts of things. Here's a quick look. We had just put it on the website, did our advertising, let them know, and there's Michelle. Uh, and, and next thing you know, even though we only had 10 units to sell, there were 300 people there. That turned out. People. Yeah, it was really wild. This and is it a was big fun. thing today, it these is. storage wars. Well, the TV shows have made everything so exciting. Yes. And, the, you know, there were some cool storage buildings that were full of stuff. You know, you open up the door, and you don't know what you're going to find in there. And, and we opened up one door, and the stuff was falling out. It was packed so tight. We opened up another one, and there was one office chair. <laughs> so, I mean, that's part of the adventure, right? One part of the thing. adventure, yeah, you got it. Yeah, so that was, that was really cool. So that was fun doing that. And, 
you just never know. I mean, that's part of the fun of, of being in the auction business for us. It's like Christmas every day. And that's so. why it's an adventure. You got it right. So an so. appropriate name for this brand new show here on Key TV. And we hope that you tune it in every week. It'll be at 8 o'clock on Monday evenings Monday. and also at 12 noon on Wednesdays. So you get to, if you miss it one day, you can watch it the you next. You can watch it the next. Yeah. And we'll be updating you about different merchandise. We'll be updating you about different auctions that are coming up. Mm -hmm. And we'll have uh, specialists in, in different categories right. of collections, right. coins, furniture, uh, Or even we'll talk about how to research things. You know, I'll bring my research girl in and we'll talk about, you know, here you have a piece of of equipment you need to figure out how to find out about it. Well, we'll pop up, we'll bring it down, we'll talk about the different websites we use. Here it's really go. filled with helpful hints, ideas, um, directions to go in in case you get something and you just don't know what to do. You just come see us or watch the show. All right, stay with us. We got more to come right here on Auction Adventures. Auction Adventures. Hi, we're back. And as part of the whole da adventures, auction adventures, things change from moment to moment. And so what's happened today is that George is going to join us today and talk about some of the things that we're going to um, share with you about coins and collecting and buying and selling and all that fun stuff. Um, we were planning on doing this as a separate mm -hmm. show, and we'll still come back another time, right, George? Yes, ma'am. And we'll talk about some of the things that you can do. Now, George is located right next door to us over there at Dudley's Auctions. What's your actual address, George? 3924 South Florida Avenue. Yeah, and it's George Olmstead's Coins and Precious Metals. Uh, yes, ma'am. And um, George is George is one of our experts, that whenever we have any kind of coins or, or any questions, we go right to him, and then he can tell us. It's just like I'm looking at this Carson City uncirculated silver dollar, and it looks a little bit different than this one. Now, why is this one different? Because this is graded by NGC. It's one of the three leading uh, coin grading agencies that is recognized. This one right here is issued by the United States government. I always tell people, do not break this case open and put it in that case over there because this is worth more in this case like this. So the Carson City uncirculated silver dollar is worth more than this yes. one because of the original case. Mm -hmm. Now, pick out one of your other favorite coins and tell me something about it. This is a quarter made by the United States Mint. It actually says on the rim, 999, it's four nines, it's pure silver. But if you look at the quarter here by NGC, it is graded by NGC. When people come and buy these coins, they're just looking for the precious metal instead of looking for the coin itself. So people, if you ever want to sell a coin, sell the coin for a coin, not for the silver, because you get more money for the coin. As the coin. Now, we, when we're talking about when you say that, now I know that there's gray sheets and I know you yes. do shows and I know you're always learning and doing things, yes. which is what makes you the expert, mm -hmm. and which is a whole lot different than taking a, 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 just a pile of coins and selling it as silver. That's what you're talking about Correct. because you might have somebody buy the silver for yes. the silver weight, but the coin is actually worth more because of like a mint mark or yes. something? It's just like uh, these, co these coins right here. This is a silver dollar. It's from. 1860 New Orleans. You may find it in a shop and you go into any shop and you bring in these dollars, they turn around, it's a dirty old dollar and it's no use, it's not recognized anymore, you can't use this. But this silver dollar right here is worth about $350, $400. Which is different than another one because, yes. the, because just because of the date. Yes. Now is there something else to look for besides the date? On the reverse side of it, you'll look on the bottom of the eagle feathers back here and you'll see an O for New Orleans where my finger is uh -huh. and uh, that's where you indicate where the mint mark is on these coins. And then so depending on where it was minted it might have higher yes. value. Yes ma'am. Okay. I know that you talked to me about some pennies. The pennies? I looked at that penny and I thought oh it's just a bright shiny penny. It's been minted in 1970. Mm -hmm. And tell me what, what, what it was that it's was different. It's a 1970 S but this one is an S over an S. If you look for it in a cherry picker's book, you could actually find the value of it. This is worth more money than the average penny. And people out there, if you don't know the most money you make as a coin dealer or anyone out there that collects coins is with a penny. You make more money on a penny than you will on a silver dollar or a gold piece. If you know your pennies. Correct. You just, and that's, that's the whole idea, is to find somebody you know and trust that has the knowledge mm -hmm. in the background so that when you're carrying your coins in, you can sort them and identify them and yes, not just, just make them a big pile. Now, that's a mercury dime? This is a mercury dime. And if you go out and sell your silver 
actually just dump your silver and you'll get 18, 20, 21 times the face, hopefully, out now, there. Now explain face, 20 times face. So for, if, for people who don't sell silver, yes. who don't understand that, explain face. If you take $1 in silver and you bring it into my shop, you may get 20 to 21 times the face value in silver. But if you bring this dime into my shop, you may get $700 for this dime. But if you take this dime to other people that don't know anything about U.S. coins, you may just get the 20 times face, two dollars. Right, because they're, they're, what they're doing is their area of what they're trying to do is to just purchase the silver weight and then pill, and then they just have a standard across, and it's not mm -hmm. an actual coin dealer whose level of knowledge is yes. up there. I mean, it's impossible for everybody to know everything about everything, so it's always it's it's a it's a strong point to make sure that you get somebody that's knowledgeable. Yes. Show me another piece because this is so much fun. I learn every time I sit with you. I learn. You got uh, so many. You have ooh, Walk in Liberty quarters. If you have the 1938, that's all right. We can look at 1938. I know that we just sold some coins uh -huh. at our coin. Uh, we had a coin auction here recently that we took care of, and you helped us a lot with yes, that. And then we have a thousand dollar bill. Yes, ma'am. We had a thousand dollar bill. We had two five hundred dollar bills, and um, I think what was it, uh, twenty four hundred on the thousand dollar bill. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight hundred dollars. Amazing. That. That's one of them. That's just one. Well, things things went really, really well. I mean, here's a, here's some video of the shots of what we were doing there. Um, everything again, just like a target auction. We photograph it, identify mm -hmm. it, label it, and then we sell it via catalog. No, that was thirty-five pounds of wheat pennies yes. in that bag. That was yes. exciting too, because you never know what you're going to find. And those wheat pennies, they came in the shop over time, and they just accumulated and. Uh, it's nice. Yeah. So this is this is just another idea of, of how to do it. Um, you can do it at the auction. You can carry it into a coin dealer. Mm -hmm. A coin dealer will be able to identify it. I know that when it comes to me, oh yeah, there's your five hundred dollars and your thousand dollar bills. Now what's that two dollar one? That's a two dollar bill from eighteen ninety nine. See? It's a nice, nice note. In there was those was that those Confederate a, money? Those are Confederate notes. Yes, blue seal, uh, silver certificates, large notes. That's the red seal, silver certificate, nineteen seventeen. And see, you, it's, it's amazing how quick you look at that and just know yes. those, just right off the top of your... Mm -hmm. The Black Eagle is my favorite. Huh. Never sell an eagle short. Never sell an eagle short. Now, that's mm -hmm. one of the things that you talk about. We, now, you talk about um, liberties or uh, silver eagles? Silver eagles, correct. If you have a silver eagle, you have pure silver, excuse me, as you were. You have 90% silver here and turn around, you'll see these on, things on TV, they sell them incredibly high on TV. You come into the shop, whatever silver's trading at that day, I'm paying the price of silver for it. Yeah. If you go to someplace else, they're paying behind the silver price for it. If you have them in proof condition, I'm paying above silver price for it. So that's, that's a good thing to know. So yes. let's go over real quick where you're at. You're right next door on US Highway 41. Um, you'll be right in there with Furniture and, exchange, yes. furniture and Antique Exchange. Yes. And then you'll see George Olmsted's Coins and Precious Metals. Yes. You can give him a call. Um, if you have any questions, you can always call us at, at Dudley's Auctions. We'd be happy to share the information on how you can find George. But that is just one more of the examples of what we're going to do here. Um, auction adventures. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of people. And we'll bring George back, right, George? Mm -hmm. And yes. we'll talk about more stuff that you've got. Mm -hmm. So we'll look forward to seeing you all. Ever make sure you watch us Monday night at 8, Wednesday at noon. We'll have more auction adventures. We'll see you then. It's Chris Dudley from Dudley's Auctions. Good night. Take care.